Hi, it's me again. Uh, I'm coming to you because it's been a week since we went online and I want to update you, uh, let you know what's going on because during the course of a week we've moved from uh, the theory of implementation to actually having to do this stuff. Uh, and I realize that it's a challenge. Uh, it's a big challenge for all. It's unsettling. It's confusing. Uh, however, I want to congratulate our faculty uh, who went through Herculean effort to get us up. We gave them time, but it's still a shift because not only is it time to possibly learn new technology, but in order to adapt their syllabi and their programs and the method of instruction to an online environment. I also want to acknowledge our students. Uh, I've spoken with a number of you. You've told me about what the challenges are, but you're also happy that you're still being connected. Matter of fact, one of the things that I've heard uh, which is interesting is that often classes need to give a little bit more time because when everybody's face pops up on Zoom, there's a lot of, hi, how are you doing, what's going on? And I, it lets me know that you miss your community and being here with people. Uh, I also want to uh, send out to the parents. Uh, it's, it's wonderful having your child at home, but if you happen to be at home working at the same time that your child is there trying to do their schoolwork, uh, that can be tense. It can be tense because there's only so much space and sound travels. Or if you have siblings in the house, uh, schools are not, uh, particularly in Oregon and California and Washington State, uh, a lot of our students come from there. And if you're coming from someplace other than there, you might be dealing with this too because uh, the public schools are closed uh, to do there. So I just want to acknowledge that and thank you. But this particular piece is to let you know some of the specific resources that you have available to you that Linfield has migrated onto an online format. In particular, there's learning support. If you need individual tutoring, uh, there's coaching that's available to you. Uh, you can make an appointment. Uh, again, these things, all the things I'm gonna tell you are available on the website. Go to the website and look at this information. Uh, we have a place just for the coronavirus. We have a place for resources. I'm just trying to give you a highlight of the views. One of those, we have learning support. Uh, another thing is that we have resident life online. Uh, they continue to work with residents. We do have some students here. Uh, for the exceptions that had to be made, uh, consistent with laws and CDC guidelines, uh, they're meeting, the, our resident assistants are meeting electronically with students one-on-one. -on -one. They're conducting check-ins. Uh, in fact, I'm calling students uh, to check in because I live on campus also, uh, so I'm reaching out to them. Career development continues to offer their services virtually, career counseling, job search tips, internships, resources, because we know that sooner or later, hopefully sooner rather than later, this will pass also. And for those who are graduating or preparing for graduation, uh, we're going to provide services to support them. We also have the Writing Center. Uh, Linfield's Writing Center has moved online. Uh, students can video conference with a writing consultant or submit a paper for written feedback. Uh, both options are available. Again, you can find the information online. And last but not least, uh, student counseling. Uh, we talk about the physical toll uh, that this virus can take on you. But the steps we've taken the steps that we've taken to minimize the impact can also impact mental health. And so that's online too. Uh, to telehealth, online therapy, in lieu of in-person appointments, we had that happen. Now finally, I just wanna say parents, um, again, your routine has been uprooted too. Uh, the structure is no one planned for this. Uh, we have planned for a normal semester and normal time of the year. And so, uh, I want to commend you for those who are supporting uh, their students being there, uh, who also continue to reach out and support Linfield. Uh, we need all of us working together. I want to let you know uh, to look forward to another message coming out probably in about a week. Uh, we are examining our options about what to do about commencement. This is for the seniors. I'm getting a lot of questions about that. So just want to let you know that we have planned uh, to have a decision by that by April 10th. Continue to reach out and connect with us. 
Again, be well, be blessed, and wash your hands.